I think the large part of the inspiration came from the property. It fascinated me to try and feel like you're closer to the treetops, giving the pool a slightly floaty feeling. A certain quality of light that sort of filters through the entire house. I mean, you can imagine something, but for it to actually happen is the work of several minds. At this home, we designed an open to sky courtyard as soon as you arrive. And I think it brought to light the way the home is an indoor and outdoor space. Quite seamless. Feel like you're not sure if you're within the house or outside of it. I try and pick materials that already look a little bit destroyed. It's lovely to have things in the house that seem like they've been found. And really they are found objects. So they're not very fussy homes. Easy to find, easy to live with, easy to maintain. However, the properties are large and gardens are big and I think all of that sort of makes them quite luxurious. We actually chose to use the onion as an inspiration. There's a sort of tonality of pinks and old rose. The deeper you go into the layers, you might come across a deeper red of which we've also used. You know, the weather conditions here are very tropical and fairly unkind. So it's important for us to create deep verandas with overhangs. Yeah, I've enjoyed living here and sort of studying the Goa weather conditions. I think of myself as a little bit of a weatherman. I wake up in the morning and wonder if it's a good day to go to the beach. To me, the most important aspect of designing homes is creating a lifestyle. The idea of how you would sleep and eat and entertain and enjoy your garden. The way you feel when you wake up in the morning or bathe. To me, those are the essentials.